The word Jerusalem does not appear in the Quran, but the phrase Al-Quds does, which means the faraway mosque, and modern Islamists take that to mean Jerusalem. Well, in 1979, Ayatollah Khomeini declared Al-Quds Day, a day to rally against those damn Jews. And the holiday's been rocking ever since. Joining me now to talk about Al-Quds Day in Toronto and how you can celebrate is our friend, <laughs> Kathy Shale. You are always festive, but nothing <laughs> brings out the, the, par the groggers and the, the, the party favors and the, and the clown hats like a good old Al-Quds Day. Yeah, you know, everybody's buying their little, <laughs> their little horns. They're going to toot. It's awesome. Listen, Buy, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not even joking around. I mean, no, Al-Quds Day, it's, it's, it's really an Iranian, it's a pro-Iranian extremist day. I mean, listen, there, there's a lot of great, legitimate, genuine Muslim holidays. But right. this one isn't. Re it's not a real Muslim holiday. No, it's not a it's, religious holiday. It's at a all. political it's, attack the Jews day. That's right. It's like something out of a Borat movie. Right. Essentially, it's uh, it's proclaiming in its own name. You know, when we take over Israel, the first thing we're going to do is change the name yeah. uh, of Jerusalem. And secondly, the stated purpose of this of these annual rallies is to spread the Iranian revolution across yeah. the world. So yeah. I hope people in Toronto know that those people on Saturday are saying. We want the same people who kept our U.S. hostages for 444 days. We want to live like that in Toronto. We want to bring it on. Yeah, I mean, Carabana, lots of fun, lots oh, yeah. of dancing. I mean, the odd <laughs> bit of gunfire. Yeah. But, I mean, Al-Quds Day, a, a little more somber, yeah. not a lot of smiling, and not so much gunfire, but more sort of, we'll bring some nuclear bombs kind of action to, yeah, to and the Jewish little devil. Exactly. And and one of the troubling things too is, you know, we have videotape of what happened at last year's rally. Uh -huh. uh, Israel was called a racist state. Uh, it was compared to cancer. And uh, this is pretty troubling stuff. It's, it, as you say, it's not exactly a celebration. It's really about putting down millions of people uh, in a public place. You know, not it's not a private home. It's Queen's Park. So right. it's a little dodgy. Well, here's my, my thinking. I mean, I don't think it should be against the law to no. hate anybody. No. I don't think it should be against the law to say, I hate so-and-so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I do believe there are some Canadians, and I'm quite sure some of them are from Iran, and I'm quite sure some of them are from the Iranian embassy who truly hate Jews and want to shout it out. They want to shout out their sort of, sort of like anti-Pride Day. That's right. But, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, and so I, I don't want to censor fellow Canadians. Like, if they're no. foreigners, if they're foreign diplomats, get the hell out. Like That's a little bit out. different. Yeah. But if they're really Canadian citizens, I, I think we should tolerate their right to be offensive. Here's my question to you. This is happening at Queen's Park with the permission of the government. The mm -hmm. sergeant at arms has, has greenlit this. And I don't think that the sergeant at arms at Queen's Park, which is the Ontario legislature, would give his green light for a rally that was for... You know, a, the a tea clan party. Or yeah, or the, or the clan sure. for sure. Never for the clan. Right. Or another hate group that was hate right wing. Right. But not even for, I don't even think he would do it for a Christian tea party group or a Sarah Palin. I mean, maybe he would. But, and, and one more thing mm -hmm. I want to throw this to you is uh, Barbara Hall, oh, the yeah. Ontario Human Rights Commissioner, would be apoplectic oh. if it was any other group being demonized other than the Jews being demonized by the Iranians. What do you think of that? Well, I think you're right. Uh, just based on the evidence of uh, Barbara Hall and her uh, Ontario Human Rights Commission, as you know, um, they kind of give Muslims a pass when they do things that might make the rest of us raise our eyebrows a little bit. There were those dozens of want ads that said Muslims only for apartments in yeah. Toronto. And, and I, I, by the way, think oh, sure. if it's private property, yep. you could rent out, especially if it's your own apartment, you should be able to rent out your apartment to whoever you like. You said only left-handed, gay, wheelchair-bound, black Jews. Okay, fine. You want to really narrow your market, right. knock yourself out. I yeah. mean, that's weird, yeah. but but I don't think it should be illegal. No. But but anyone else says that for only women, oh. only men, only Jews. They had this whole campaign against it. If, if it was whites saying, I mean, God forbid, you, had, you wouldn't even be able to sell an ad saying whites only apply. Right. If we're, if we're going to have these crazy rules, and I agree with you that mostly they're crazy, it seems that they're being applied selectively. Yeah. And that doesn't really make the rest of us feel very safe or secure. Uh, you know, when you're living in this kind of arbitrary state where certain yeah. people get special rights and other people don't, yeah. it's, uh, it's not great for uh, civil unity or, you know, yeah. cohesiveness. Now, right? ha, do you know if any political leaders have spoken out? I mean, the sergeant in arms is a bureaucrat, really. Right. He's not an elected official. Have any political leaders spoken out on this Al-Quds hate rally? Well, I know uh, Peter Kent has denounced it. Right. And he goes a lot farther than I think you and I. He just doesn't want it to occur. Right. He wants people to be charged with hate speech if right. it happens. 
I don't. I, I just want other Torontonians, other Canadians to know that this is something that's going yeah. on and they should educate yeah. themselves about Here's what it's what I about. Would say. I would say no tax money going towards it. Right. I would say, uh, you know, I, I actually don't want Barbara Hall to charge them. I just want Barbara Hall yeah. to retire. Yes. You know, <laughs> uh, and I and I want uh, I, I think that this is an appropriate place for politicians to use the bully pulpit, their right. moral suasion to say there is some trash talk that is legally allowed in this country, mm. but it's so hateful, I, I feel the need to condemn it. And I think the moral authority of Dalton McGuinty, however much he has left, and the mayor, and I think Peter Kent, is important to show. Like, I do not want Peter Kent going there and charging people, no, unless no. they're threatening. I right. mean, unless they're actually threatening. Threatening violence, yeah. Uh, but if there are foreign meddlers, if there are foreign... And we've, we've seen before that the Iranian embassy has a cultural attache. Oh, totally. That, that has these celebrate Khomeini things. <laughs> what should we do? I mean, at what point do we say to foreigners, you cannot even come here? Well, that's very tricky. I mean... Like, even, like the Iranian embassy. Exactly. I mean. um, you know, that's something that I think the federal government would have to deal with. You have a lot of complicated issues about uh, diplomacy yeah. and immunity. Um, one thing I would like to tell people is there is going to be a counter demonstration. Oh, good. That's the and, way to do it. That's uh, the, exactly. That's the real way to do it. Instead of calling the whiny 911, Barbara Hall, they're, they're hurting Please my feelings. Hurt Go out yourself. Exactly. I really am a firm believer in that. Don't wait for an invitation. Just yeah. show up. But there yeah. is actually going to be a counter okay, demonstration. Okay, so you're actually going to party hard on Al Quds Day. Yeah, we're going to have our own. You're going to party like it's 1422 <laughs> exactly. or something. Exactly. You're going to party like it's 1979. 1979. <laughs> yeah, that's well, right. Well, 779. Yeah. Well, we, we are going to do that. There are going to be people. Well, there, it would be ironic if at the end of the day there were more people to counter demonstration, but let's see what's happening. Okay, happened. so really quickly before we go, if people really want to party hard on Al Quds right. Day, either for or against, <laughs> or against. <laughs> bashing the Jews, where do they go? Just okay, tell it's, And it's here in Toronto. Yes, yeah, here in Toronto. It's at Queen's Park yeah. uh, and right on the front lawn, as far as I know. And yeah. it uh, starts, the excitement begins at 2 p.m., so 2 don't miss it. Bring your cameras, well, that's bring, your, super. All right. bring everything. You know, maybe we can get some gay pride guys and some caravan oh, guys man. just to keep it lively. That would, that would liven it up a and lot. Maybe a food truck or something. That would be good, but all halal. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here. Okay.